how will Facebook impact the environment in the future? If we think about our planet and climate in the traditional sense, the answer is straightforward. As people continue to, to use more and more powerful digital systems, internet systems, the power requirements grow and grow. And so to the degree that people become dependent upon Facebook for fairly standard social interactions, there's an increased consumption of energy with all of the corresponding efficiency issues and carbon issues, et cetera, et cetera. Informationally, however, Facebook could have an even more significant impact on our world. By acting as a conduit between individuals, social networks, and the physical world, Facebook could help to fundamentally transform how we view the environment around us. Facebook could become that mechanism for providing information to people, allowing them to see parts of the world that they may not have been paying attention to before, seeing aspects of the environment that they may not have been paying attention to before, in easy to understand and easy to share ways. To the extent that right now today, we are surrounded by printing and, and the alphabet and writing everywhere. We're not even conscious of it. I think in a certain sense, um, the, 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 the world of being online will be surrounding us all the time and we'll basically never really escape from it, even when we think we are. The notion that there should be a clean distinction between online, offline, work and leisure, all of those distinctions are just getting completely destroyed. It's obvious to me that the ability for Facebook to transform what is today essentially a flat or 2D experience into a 3D one, I think is going to be very, very interesting. It's likely that Facebook will play a major role in emerging augmented reality systems, which could be a major game changer for social interaction with the environment and Facebook's core business. So I look out at the world, the world around me, the street around me in San Francisco, and it's not just that I get you know, little Google map icons for you know, the various buildings or maybe people that I see. It's that I get a little Facebook icon over a, a particular building that has a Facebook presence or a person that I'm linked to on Facebook, even if it's not necessarily someone that I recognize visually. Uh, so there, in this kind of scenario, Facebook's interaction with or interconnection with augmented reality systems is simply as the provider and filter of information that people become engaged with through these technologies. Facebook could certainly be successful in this location-based uh, web experience, and I think that uh, they could open up opportunities where individuals become uh, sensing objects in the world that provide data uh, into the feedback loop of, of, of larger planetary systems. Uh, but I think that the biggest industries around the offline world are, are much more uh, oriented towards enterprise companies. So uh, I find it difficult to imagine Facebook competing against the IBMs, the Cisco's of the world that are actively embedding uh, sensors and layering software uh, into the physical, uh, uh, physical environment. As it approaches 1 billion users, Facebook clearly has a big role to play in the transforming global environment, whether it's through climate change or augmented awareness. To add your voice to the dialogue around this important topic, go to futureoffacebook.com.